2023 Clarkson Athletics Hall of Fame inductee Bill O'Flaherty, hockey player, coach, and administrator. When Clarkson fans think of the modern era of Golden Knights men's hockey, many point to the influence of Bill O'Flaherty and the winning culture he helped create. O'Flaherty began attending Clarkson in 1967 and played two seasons under legendary coach Len Siglarski. Upon graduation in 1971, O'Flaherty transitioned immediately to coaching, spending eight seasons as an assistant coach with Jerry York. O'Flaherty was the natural choice as York's successor for the Golden Knights head coaching position, taking on the role in the 1979-1980 season. O'Flaherty had immediate and consistent success with the Golden Knights winning 21 games in his first season and continuing that trend for his entire time behind the bench at Walker Arena. In his second and third seasons, the Golden Knights won 26 games in each season. As O'Flaherty guided the green and gold to back-to-back -back ECAC hockey regular season titles, which helped send the team to its first NCAA tournament appearance in over a decade. In six seasons behind the bench, O'Flaherty posted five 21 seasons with an overall record of 134, 59, and 12, a 683 winning percentage, three NCAA tournament berths, and two ECAC regular season titles. The most impressive accomplishment of all came in 1981, when Billy O was selected for the Spencer Penrose Award as the National Coach of the Year. After his coaching career, O'Flaherty became Clarkson University's athletic director and held the position for more than a decade, where he would oversee the continued success of the Golden Knights men's hockey program and the growth of the school's other athletic offerings. O'Flaherty moved to the NHL to serve as director of player personnel for the Los Angeles Kings, alongside Clarkson alum Dave Taylor, the general manager of the Kings. O'Flaherty helped build the framework for a team that would win two Stanley Cups in the 2000s. O'Flaherty's eye for the details of the game would help him earn positions with other NHL teams as well. He served as a scout for the Pittsburgh Penguins in 2006-2007, and then moved on to become director of pro scouting for the Florida Panthers from 2007 to 2010. Ladies and gentlemen, Bill O'Flaherty, hockey player, coach, and administrator. Two thousand twenty three Clarkson Athletics Hall of Fame inductee Sarah Artis Volleyball two thousand eight to two thousand eleven. At a time when Clarkson Volleyball was expanding its horizons regarding recruiting, one of its best players ever came from just down the road in St. Regis Falls, New York. Sarah Artis spent most of her first season acclimating herself to collegiate volleyball, showing flashes of what was to come. And as her skills grew, so did the level of play for the Golden Knights volleyball program. Following her modest first year, when the team was just one match over 500, the Golden Knights began a run where the team would reach the NCAA tournament for nine consecutive years, with the first three coming with artists on the team. Her numbers from her sophomore year to her senior year dwarfed anything that came before them or have come since. Her kill totals in 2009, 506, and 2010, 560, are the two highest figures in program history, while the 2011 total, 496, still ranks as the fourth highest at Clarkson. Her per set figures still rank as the top three in program history at 4.25 KPS in 2009, 4.21 KPS in 2010, 3.70 KPS in 2011, and her .243 career hitting percentage still ranks as one of the best for an outside hitter in program history, despite 
being keyed in on by opponents for three seasons. Artis was rewarded frequently at the conference and regional levels when the team reached the NCAA tournament, as she was selected a Liberty League first team All-Star in 2009, 2010, and 2011, with the final year seeing her earn Liberty League Player of the Year honors. She was chosen as an AVCA All-Region First Team selection each of those years, gaining AVCA All-American Honorable Mention honors in 2009 and 2010, and eventually earning AVCA All-American Third Team selection in 2011. She was the first ever AVCA All-American for Clarkson University and remains one of just three players in program history to earn the honor three times. Artist still ranks second all-time at Clarkson in total kills at 1,710 and has the highest kills per set figure in program history at 3.52. Additionally, she surpassed 800 career digs and 100 aces in her career as a sixth rotation player for much of her career. Ladies and gentlemen, Sarah Artis. Two thousand twenty three Clarkson Athletics Hall of Fame inductee Tim Barkham Baseball two thousand to two thousand three. Thanks to an uncanny batting eye and an unflappable approach at the plate, Tim Barkham finished his collegiate career just one hit shy of the career triple crown for the Golden Knights, hitting three seventy three, four sixty three, and six fifteen after four seasons. Though some of those numbers have since been surpassed, Barkham still ranks among the all-time leaders in nearly every offensive category at Clarkson University. The second of three brothers to play baseball for the Golden Knights, Barkham joined the team as a sophomore and showed no rust from a year away from the game, hitting 373 with 12 extra base hits while playing a solid third base. While his average fluctuated from year to year, it never dipped below 350 in any of his four seasons with Clarkson, and his sharp eye at the plate led to 77 career walks against only 29 strikeouts in 514 career plate appearances. The most impressive feat of his career likely came during his 2003 season when he struck out just twice in 123 plate appearances, 102 at-bats making him the hardest player in the nation to strike out that season. Barkham accomplished that figure without sacrificing any power, as he slugged a team-best eight home runs that year as well, tied for the most by any Clarkson player in a single season. Three of those home runs came in a single game at Rensselaer on May 4th, 2003, when he battered the then Red Hawks pitching staff to the tune of three long bombs and a double in a 14-8 victory. A three-time Upstate Collegiate Athletic Association All-Star, Barkham was also picked to the ABCA Rawlings All-Region Team on three occasions. A stellar student athlete, Barkham also finished with a grade point average just below 4.0 and was a three-time Co-SIDA Academic All-American one of only two athletes at Clarkson to be named Academic All-American on that many occasions. Barkham still ranks in the top 10 in program history in runs scored at 118, hits at 157, doubles at 36, home runs at 18, batting average at .373, and slugging percentage at 615, while his 131 runs batted in are still 12 more than any other player in Clarkson's long history. Ladies and gentlemen, Tim Barkham.
2023 Clarkson Athletics Hall of Fame inductee Robert Soupy Campbell, benefactor, 1961. Over the course of decades, few have had as much of an impact on Clarkson Athletics as Robert Soupy Campbell, a member of the Golden Knights men's hockey team from 1958 to 1961. Soupy contributed 28 points in 55 games and skated alongside fellow Class of 2023 Hall of Fame inductee Mel Tomalty and previous Hall of Fame inductees Al Graham, 1992, Bill Little, 2017, and Bob Van Lemmers, 2004. Soupy also played goalie for the inaugural men's lacrosse teams coached by Jack. Hands. Since his playing days, Campbell has been a longtime supporter of both Clarkson's hockey programs, contributing to the renovations of both Cheel Arena and Walker Arena. He also supports the Little Knights Club, a fan engagement group for women's hockey that helps foster the relationship between Clarkson women's hockey teams, student athletes, and young kids in the community. Every Athletics Giving Day, Soupy has helped spearhead the fundraising for multiple Golden Knight programs. Campbell, a native of La Chute, Quebec, helps foster the development of players from his home province by funding the Campbell Scholars Hockey Endowment in 2008, which is awarded annually to any two players from the province of Quebec on the men's hockey team as selected by athletic director and hockey coach. In 2022-2023, the Campbell Scholarship selections were Matthew Goslin and Alex Campbell, and the pair have excelled, with each being named ECAC First Team All-Stars a year ago, as well as earning ECAC All-Academic Honors. Soupy, who has residences in both Texas and New Hampshire with his wife Cindy, received his Bachelor of Business Administration degree in accounting from Clarkson in 1961, while Cindy is a class of 64 SUNY Potsdam graduate. He earned an MBA in finance from the University of Colorado Boulder in 1966 and became a certified public accountant in New York State in 1968. Soupy was part of the Clarkson community shortly after graduation as an admissions officer for two years and then as an instructor of accounting for another two years. During the 1967-1968 season, Soupy coached the Clarkson freshman hockey team, which fostered several future varsity standouts. Retired regional managing partner and CEO of Deloitte Asia Pacific, Campbell has served as a Clarkson trustee, serving as chair of the audit committee and as a member of the executive committee. He was a past president of the Clarkson Alumni Association, receiving the Arnold H. Barbin Hockey Award in 1982, the highest honor a Clarkson hockey alum can receive, and was a recipient of the Clarkson Golden Knight Award in 1986. In 2021, Campbell received the Lifetime Engagement Award from Clarkson University, an award given to an alumni who have remained engaged and supportive of Clarkson's mission from students onward. Outside of his support and philanthropy towards Clarkson, Soupy has had advisory roles for Southern Methodist University, Cox School of Business, Marquette University's Department of Accounting, and of course, the Clarkson School of Business. Additionally, he has served on the boards of the Boys and Girls Clubs of Greater Milwaukee and of Dallas, the Baylor Scott and White Institute for Rehabilitation, the American School in Japan, the Green Hill School in Texas, and the Arthritis Foundation. Ladies and gentlemen, Robert Soupy Campbell, Benefactor, 1961. Two thousand twenty three Clarkson Athletics Hall of Fame inductee Dan Gasberry, men's soccer, 
1984 to 1988. Possibly the greatest goal scorer in program history, Dan Gasperi may not have scored the most goals for the Clarkson men's soccer team, and he may not have scored most frequently, but few played with a bigger X on their back for the entirety of their collegiate careers. A four-time conference all-star and four-time all-region player, Gasberry produced some gaudy offensive numbers at a time when the program itself wasn't putting up huge goal totals. As a freshman in 1984, Gasberry burst onto the scene with a 29-point season, scoring 12 goals and assisting on five others in 16 games, still tied as the top freshman campaign in program history. For an encore, Gasberry notched 30 points in 15 games, with 14 goals and two assists, but the most impressive part of the total was that he scored two-thirds of all of Clarkson's goals, 21, that year. He nearly duplicated that feat a year later, scoring half of the team's goals by tallying eight of the team's 16, while also assisting on three others. Through his junior campaign, Gasberry had 78 career points on 34 goals and 10 assists, while no other player on the team had tallied more than nine career points. As a senior, Gasberry again led the team in scoring with 19 points, thanks to nine goals and one assist, as the team reached the postseason for the second time in his career, earning a nod to the ECAC tournament. The four-year striker finished his collegiate career with 97 points, a figure that is still tied for second all-time at Clarkson, while his 43 goals stand alone as the second-best figure in program history. He was chosen as an ICAC first-team All-Star three times, and for the second team once, and also was picked all New York State four times, earning first-team status in his sophomore and senior campaigns. Ladies and gentlemen, Dan Gasberry, men's soccer 1984 to 1988. Two thousand twenty three Clarkson Athletics Hall of Fame inductee David Kinney Baseball two thousand nine to two thousand twelve. By the time David Kinney arrived on the Clarkson campus, the Golden Knights baseball team was already one of the top teams in the Liberty League, but had yet to take the final hurdle to win the conference championship. Not only did the Green and Gold accomplish that feat during Kinney's freshman season, but the team did so again in 2011, marking the only two times the program has reached the NCAA tournament. That success came in large part due to Kinney's two-way performances, as he was one of the most feared hitters in the region and also a top-notch pitcher as both a starter and closer for the Golden Knights. The definition of seaball hitball offensive player, Kinney squared up pitchers' offerings more often than not finishing his career with a 402 batting average and a 637 slugging percentage, along with 19 home runs, 198 hits, 51 doubles, and 314 total bases, all career records at Clarkson. In his senior season, when he hit 467, Kinney was intentionally walked eight times while no other player on the team was given a free pass all season. A two-time All-American, Kinney was the 2011 New York Regional Player of the Year and was a finalist for the National Player of the Year that same season. Twice selected as the Liberty League Player of the Year, Kinney earned conference all-star notice on three occasions. Kinney's play shined brightest in the postseason. As a precocious freshman in 2009, Kinney hit what proved to be the game-winning home run in the seventh to break a 6-6 tie in the Liberty League Championship game. In the NCAA tournament, he was nearly unstoppable, going 10 for 19 with 10 runs batted in over the course of four games. Two years later, he picked up the save in Clarkson's first 
Liberty League tournament win, then went five for six with four runs scored and four more driven in as Clarkson advanced to its second NCAA tournament. Ladies and gentlemen, David Kinney, baseball, 2009-2012. 2023. Clarkson Athletics Hall of Fame inductee, Mike Smith, Hockey, 1968. Following his collegiate career as a member of the Clarkson men's hockey team from 1965 to 1967, Mike Smith began a path in professional hockey that helped shape several NHL franchises. Starting in the NHL in the late 1970s, Smith eventually worked his way up to front office executive, spending time with the original Winnipeg Jets franchise, the Chicago Blackhawks, and the Toronto Maple Leafs. In 1979, Smith had his first job with the Winnipeg Jets, where he was hired as a coach in the team's minor league system. Overall, he spent 14 years in the organization, most notably as a pioneer in bringing Russian players to the NHL. He served as director of scouting, assistant general manager, and then became the team's general manager from 1988 to 1994. Following his long run with the Jets, Smith moved on to become a scout for the Chicago Blackhawks. He then had a stint with the Toronto Maple Leafs as associate general manager before returning to the Blackhawks as manager of hockey operations in December 1999. Shortly thereafter, he was elevated to general manager, a position he held for the next three years. Following the 2001-2002 season, Smith was named Executive of the Year by the Sporting News. During his tenure with the Jets and Blackhawks, Smith was responsible for drafting numerous future NHL stars, including Stu Barnes, Dustin Bufflin, Corey Crawford, Chris Draper, Duncan Keith, Nikolai Habibulin, Brent Seabrook, Keith Kachuk, and James Wisniewski. Smith's keen eye for talent was invaluable during his time with USA Hockey, as he served as the coach and general manager for the team's 1981, 1994, and 1995 appearances at the IIHF World Hockey Championship. In addition, Smith serves on the advisory board to USA Hockey. In 2000, Smith was presented with Clarkson's Arnold H. Barbin Award, the highest honor for a Clarkson hockey alum. He has also been picked for two additional Hall of Fames, gaining induction to the New York High School Hockey Hall of Fame in 1999, and as part of the inaugural class, inducted into the New York State Hockey Hall of Fame. Smith continues to be at the forefront of innovation in hockey. In 2006, he joined Coleman Analytics, to help that company develop and market an analytics package for NHL teams. In 2015, Smith was hired by Bench Matrix to develop a product which applied analytics for teams to use in the NHL entry draft. Ladies and gentlemen, Mike Smith, Hockey 1968. Two thousand twenty three Clarkson Athletics Hall of Fame inductee Mel Tomalty, hockey nineteen fifty seven to nineteen sixty and lacrosse nineteen sixty. For more than six decades, including several years as a standout for the Clarkson University men's hockey team and for the inaugural season of Clarkson men's lacrosse, Mel Tomalty has been a fixture in the North Country and New York State athletics. In three seasons with the Golden Knights, Tomalty amassed 115 points, scoring 57 goals and 58 assists in just 59 contests 
for an average of 1.94 points per game, the fifth best figure in program history. In his first season with the Green and Gold, Tomlety ranked as the third leading point producer, 11 goals, 19 assists, 30 points, and was the lone first-year varsity member to score double digits, helping the team to a 17-3 record and an appearance in the NCAA Frozen Four, where the team finished third after a victory in the consolation game. In his next two seasons, Tomlety led the team in goals while ranking second assist in both campaigns, finishing as the team's top scorer in 1958-1959 and placing second in 1959-1960. Tomlety was the anchor of what many Clarkson hockey aficionados would consider one of the top trios in the program's storied history. Along with Bill Little and Bob Van Lammers, the group would record 126 points in just 19 contests, 6.63 points per game, accounting for 49.2% of the team's scoring in 1958-1959, despite every opponent knowing it would need to stop those three players, few rarely succeeded. Following his graduation at Clarkson, Tomty played with a number of professional teams, including the Jersey Larks, Syracuse Stars, Morrisburg Flyers, and then senior hockey with the Potsdam Pioneers. A native of Brownsburg, Quebec, Tomlety would settle in Potsdam and cemented his legacy in local athletics as a coach and official. He was the hockey coach at Potsdam High School in 1963, where he coached for four seasons and his 1963-1964 hockey team was inducted into the school's Hall of Fame. He also coached for SUNY Canton in 1972, guiding the team to a 17-3 record. However, it was as an official where Tomlety will likely be best remembered. Inducted in the New York State Public High School Athletic Association's Hall of Fame for his career as a referee, Tomlety was a high school and collegiate official for soccer, ice hockey, and lacrosse for nearly 50 years. After starting his officiating career in 1966, he served at various times as president, a signer, or interpreter for the sports for which he officiated. From 1974 to 2001, Tomlety was the head assigner for boys and girls soccer, and he continued to serve as the assigner for boys and girls ice hockey and boys lacrosse until 2013. Proving how well regarded he was in officiating circles, Tomlety was named Gold Judge for the 1980 Olympics in Lake Placid, and in 1984, he was an on ice official for the NCAA Men's Division I Final Four game. Tomlety received numerous awards over his officiating career, including USA Lacrosse Man of the Year, representing Section 10 in 1991. High School Hockey Official of the Year in 1998, the Frenchie Julian National Lacrosse Hall of Fame Award in 2001, and the Northern New York Soccer Officials Board Referee of the Year winner in 2003. Finally, finally, he received the Chuck Diemendorf Lifetime Achievement Award for Section 10 Ice Hockey in 2013. Ladies and gentlemen, Mel Tomalty, Hockey, 1957-1957 to 1960, and lacrosse, 1960. Two thousand twenty-three Clarkson Athletics Hall of Fame inductee Joe Zabrowski, lacrosse, two thousand two to two thousand five. Few players can turn a program around like a goalkeeper, and when Joe Zabrowski started between the pipes for the Clarkson men's lacrosse team, the Golden Knights' defense elevated to elite levels. In Zabrowski's first season with the program, the Green and Gold allowed the fewest goals per game in program history. And the team went from 2-4 and four in the Upstate Collegiate Athletic Association League schedule to a perfect 6-0 and oh, as the Golden Knights advanced to their first NCAA tournament in a decade. Zabrowski was the backbone 
of strong defenses for the Golden Knights for four seasons, starting 48 games and winning 32 times. The second most in program history. As a freshman, he ranked eighth in the nation in goals against average at 6.89 and 22nd in save percentage at .628, helping the team to an 11-2 record. And a year later, he was even better, leading the nation in goals against average at 5.89 with the sixth best figure in save percentage at .683. Although he appeared in only eight games during his junior campaign, he still ranked in the top 20 nationally in goals against average, and he had an otherworldly performance in the UCAA tournament. Sobrowski made 11 saves in a 13-9 opening round win over St. Lawrence, and then stopped 14 shots in an 8-6 win in the championship game victory against Rensselaer, earning UCAA tournament most outstanding player honors along the way to push the team to its second NCAA tournament in three seasons. A four-time conference all-star, Zabrowski was the UCAA Rookie of the Year in 2002 and earned USILA All-American Honorable Mention Honors in both 2003 and 2004. Zabrowski finished his collegiate career with 504 saves, fifth at Clarkson, a .618 save percentage, which is second, and a 6 0.93 goals against average, the lowest in program history. His goals against average also ranks just outside the top 25 all-time in Division III history, thanks to three seasons in which he was in the top 20 nationally. Ladies and gentlemen, Joe Zabrowski, lacrosse, 2002-2005. to 2005.